Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcast, the newsroom for the telecom and data center professionals. I'm Laura Noland at JSA. We are getting to know the Hellman Electric family, and today we are featuring Carlos Casal, Senior Vice President at Hellman Electric. Welcome to JSA TV, Carlos. Good morning. Tell our viewers, if you could, who might not be familiar with Hellman Electric, what Hellman Electric is and what you do. Sure. Uh, so Hellman Electric, uh, we're a company, an uh, electrical contracting company based out of uh, Bronx, New York. Uh, we were, until only about eight years ago, we were primarily an outdoor heavy construction contracting uh, organization. Over the last eight years, we've opened up two separate divisions. Um, we've opened up a datacom division as well as an interiors division. Uh, and the heavy construction division, which was once the organization itself, um, is uh, is actually the division that I uh, uh, oversee. So um, we we get involved in a lot of government projects for the most part. Um, we're a public uh, public works contractor. We do work for the different agencies throughout New York City. Um, in particular, the MTA, New York State DOT, New York City DOT, the DEP, um, every a agency basically that delves in the, the uh, infrastructure, roadway work, air, uh, airport lighting, um, bridges and tunnels, that's where we, uh, we, we have our primary focus, again, on the heavy construction division side. So. Uh, interiors division they they deal with schools and and buildings um, corn shell operations and datacom and the private sector of uh, telecommunications so, so how an electric touches a lot of our daily lives that we may not even realize at this point absolutely absolutely every single day that you travel through the streets, uh, somehow, some way, we probably were involved in one of the lighting or signals or something, cameras on the highway. Yeah, so we're Wonderful. We're, uh, we're yeah we're we're pretty uh, pretty spread out throughout New York City. Well, let's talk about you for a second. So, thank you for that overview about Hellman Electric. Absolutely. But you have an interesting story with Hellman Electric. You started as an intern, I heard, back in 1997. Yes. The company, you were studying for college, uh, yeah. your college degree in electrical engineering. So what drew you to the industry and then to Hellman? Sure. So, yes, I did start as, a, as an intern here at Hellman in 1997. Um, what drew me to the industry was actually my dad. Uh, my dad, I grew up going to my father's projects and he built high rises for a living. So the construction industry and engineering um, were always something that captivated me. And, um, you know, going to, you know, as a young kid going into these buildings and seeing them being constructed 60 stories in the air, 70 stories in the air, you know, it was, it was something that I just, you know, I felt like I wanted to be a part of that. So I actually, I actually went to school uh, to get my structural engineering degree. Um, and, uh, when I was in school in 93, 94, um, started to see a shift into uh, mobile. Uh, there was a lot of, a, a lot of telecommunication um, businesses were growing and thriving. They started to really um, explore wireless communications and that sort of thing. And um, it just intrigued me. So I made a decision to shift from structural engineering to electrical engineering, and I concentrated in in uh, communication systems. And uh, in my senior year, uh, I was working with my dad um, on my days off from school. And uh, my father, the superintendent that worked with my father, uh, he would, I would work 50% of the day, half the day with my dad in as a laborer, physically working, and the other 50% of my day I'd work in the office with the superintendent. Now, the superintendent uh, knew that I was in school, you know, getting my engineering degree, and had a brother-in-law 
that um, worked at an electrical uh, contracting company and was looking for intern help, you know, young engineers to start in the organization. So um, I was offered an opportunity to uh, come and uh, interview with them. And uh, the person was Stephen Lazaro, the owner of Hellman Electric. So at that time, he was a project manager at Hellman Electric. And I interviewed with him. I got the uh, internship. And uh, I guess the rest is kind of history. <laughs> Absolutely. A great like history. Years. Yeah. yeah. 23. Wow. 23 years. And, and, you know, you were talking about your early days starting as project engineer and uh, putting some hard knocks in and having a, a, a family, pretty much a family affair, you know, getting started. Yeah. You now are at a senior vice president level. You know, you rose through the ranks over the years, quite a journey there at Home and Electric. Can you tell us a little bit about what that process looked like for you uh, moving to where you are today? This was a blur. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, um, it's been amazing, actually. Um, you know, being an intern, then a project engineer, project manager, senior project manager, vice president, I've gone through basically every position in the project management team. And um, I, I cherish that. You know, it's something that I tell all of all of uh, the, all my staff, especially the young engineers that come in from school, um, to enjoy these moments because what often when you're young you just want to move and you want to 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 grow quickly and you know you you hope to be able to uh, achieve project management status in a short period of time. And the one thing that, that I went through in my career in hitting all of those different um, uh, positions is just, I grew and I learned. And, you know, it's just, it helped me develop into what I do now. And, um, you know, that, that internship was, certainly very helpful working under um, the, the admin, which was amazing, you know, and it's, it's something that gave me the organizational skills to allow me to succeed in the next stage of development. So, you know, you learn from everybody and, and uh, you know, those 23 years I've, I've come across some amazing people and uh, learned a lot from those people. And I just, I hope, I hope the uh, the youth of the company, you know, follow the same path and understand the importance of listening and going through those motions um, to really provide you with a solid foundation uh, to develop into, you know, a leader within the organization. So. Great advice, Carlos. Yeah. Well, tell us if what you do in your current position and how your previous roles in the company prepared you for what you do today. I know that you talked about learning and, and making sure that you were growing along the way, but yeah. we'd love to know in your current position, what you do now and then um, how those roles previously shaped you. So currently as senior vice president, again, of the heavy construction division, um, I oversee the construction of about $200 million worth of contracts. Um, I have a staff of 25 office personnel uh, coupled with 100 field um, forces. So it's really like an executive oversight of each of the projects. Um, we have 40, 50 different contracts with the different agencies and, you know, 11 different project managers that work with, uh, with me and, each of them have various projects that they oversee. So um, my job is to make sure that they have all the tools they need to succeed, um, to try to help them uh, be accurate in their projections and um, their monitoring of the projects. Uh, you know, we're, we're very into cost control and revenue control. So we have a lot of, we've established a lot of systems 
that uh, we expect our project managers to utilize to help them uh, better understand their job and the uh, progression of their job. So um, part of my job is actually establishing those things, is making sure that uh, those systems are in place uh, and those tools are available for their use. Um, I also get, I'm, I'm heavily in, involved in the estimating side of the organization as well. Um, so, you know, seeking work uh, opportunities. Um, there's project executive position is part of my role where um, currently we have, uh, we have a design build job, um, a very large security project uh, for the MTA at two of their bridge facilities. So, you know, it was, it was a fantastic, uh, fantastic job. Um, just building a team. So the design build uh, area that we're really getting into here at Hellman um, and establishing a, a team to put together a proposal, pitch the proposal, win, and then start the building process, the design and uh, building process. So I was very instrumental in putting that team together and, and uh, developing uh, the uh, proposal and ultimately winning the job, and you know, then I you know I help oversee um, some certain operations within that job. Um, again, from an executive level, so and that's that's kind of my day to day. Mm -hmm. You know, you were talking about the projects that um, you've had a hand in and, and um, had oversight in. What projects have been that you've been a part of? stand out as some of your favorites or even most memorable? Yeah, you know, I think the New York State DOT ITS program uh, that I was lucky enough to be a part of once I started in 97 as an intern, uh, that program, learning fiber optic communications and uh, and, and video, um, just, we're, we're, we're building surveillance systems for the state. And it just gave me such, one, it, it, was, it was a way for me to, to finally utilize my communication background from school and apply it to something. But I am applying it from a construction perspective, which is a little odd for an engineer, Often, you know, you're so used to doing calculations and this and that, you know, now is a physical uh, application of, of what we've learned. Those jobs, um, they kind of shaped my career. Um, they were my favorite jobs. I mean, currently that ITS, I mean, that design build job that I mentioned is certainly one of my favorites. Um, it's kind of like a baby, you know, it's, <laughs> I, I was able to see it from the, you know, from, from birth to where it's gone now, but those, those other jobs, they, they taught me so much and I, I just, I learned so much and I was able to really do very well in that space. And, you know, it just gave, you know, a young kid confidence to, to be able to continue to grow and, you know, it was, it was, uh, it was an amazing time. It was pro it probably lasted about 10 years, um, you know, in that ITS program, which is, you know, unfortunately the way it works is you build the infrastructure, um, you set it up so that you don't really need to do much to it for years to come. Uh, so unfortunately we, uh, we haven't, um, really had much ITS, state DOT ITS work over the last 10 years, um, just a little bit here and there, but those were amazing jobs. They just, uh, they were a lot of fun. Wow, you could see, you could see it was fun on your face and yeah. um, how proud you were of those projects. Absolutely. So with all those projects and, and all the work that you've done and, and with the family at Home and Electric, what sets Home and Electric apart from other companies in this industry? I believe the talent. I think that we we are blessed to have an amazing pool of uh, of personnel here from all walks of life, different engineering disciplines, field um, experience that we brought in to be project managers. 
uh, the right mix of ages. You know, we have very experienced people um, that, uh, that have been in the business for 40 years um, on our side. And we have some very young engineers that just started a year or two ago. Uh, and then we have the middle, you know, the, the people that have been in the business for 15 to 20 years. Um, with highly specialized uh, individuals in the technical field. I think, I think, you know, if I'm going to pick one thing, the technology is probably what sets us apart. We just, we know it, we get it. We've, we've been building it for a long time. Um, I, I, I couldn't be more proud of the team that we have and their capabilities and um, their energy, you know, and their, their, they want to grow. They want to learn. They they love this stuff as much as I do, um, which is which is pretty amazing. And I don't think a lot of the companies that I guess we uh, that would be considered our competition, I don't believe they have that same level of talent that we do, um, and uh, that 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 expertise and and that real desire to uh, to 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 grow and and uh, you know just get another one, you know, build another one, win another one, build it, um, have fun doing it. And, um, you know, just uh, enjoying it, enjoying every minute of it. So you've had great momentum um, thus far with technology combined yeah. with talent, as you were just talking about. So what does the future look like for Hellman Electric? I think we're there. Um, I think the future is, has uh, has manifested itself in this design build space. You know, I think um, you know what what we're doing right now is what we're we will be doing more of going forward. Um, we're going to utilize our talent, our and pool our resources in here and uh, go after more design build projects. Um, I think that's not just the obvious shift of the industry right now, but um, certainly something that we're very uh, excited about. And, uh, uh, you know, the, the beautiful thing is that the owners uh, of the organization um, have, have allowed me to explore these options. So, you know, that, that, that ability to be creative and to seek different things that, you know, we, we hadn't done before um, is pretty fun, and uh, I think that's something that we're going to keep striving for in the next couple of years. Just keep going after these design builds and build more technology and infrastructure, and you know, and and of course, it's going to be coupled with all of the different type of work that we currently do as well. I mean, there's there's certainly that, um, but uh, if if I'm if I'm really being honest, I think I think design build is probably going to be a major focus of this organization. Very exciting times, and we look forward to following Helmet Electric's journey. Where can our viewers go for more information? Sure, they can they can visit us at our website on www.helmetelectric.com. Uh, also, social media we are we have LinkedIn accounts um, at Helmet Electric, uh, Instagram at Helmet Electric, uh, and I believe Facebook at Helmet Electric. All right. We know where to find you. Thank Absolutely. you. <laughs> Thank you, Carlos, so much for your time. It was such a pleasure and uh, loved getting to know you and, and to get your insight um, about Home and Electric. So thank you again. Thank you very much. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts. Happy networking. Mm -hmm.